I'm thinking about what video to make for today, and the only thing that comes to my mind is how absolutely grateful I am to not be in the extreme amount of pain I was in yesterday and the day before that because I came down with this absolutely horrendous stomach bug and spent the whole past two days just throwing up. It was horrible. Like, even though I was trying to, like, be mindful and be aware and, like, not absolutely hate the current state I was in, I was having a lot of difficulty with it because it was just so painful and I lost so much water. I was so thirsty, but I couldn't keep anything down. And just, I find it interesting how the only times we're actually grateful to be like normal, grateful to be in a normal state are right after we're sick, right after we have really painful injury for something or like we couldn't use our back or like our foot got injured and it finally feels normal. But for the vast majority of our life, we don't specifically think, wow, I feel, I'm really happy that my legs are working today. I'm really happy that I'm not in vast amounts of pain. And that simple practice of gratitude, even though it's something I've been doing, just like I never, I never really put myself like enough into understanding how painful some things can be or trying to remember how painful they were to really be grateful that I'm no longer in that state. It's like, wow, I'm really happy my hands not chopped off. Kind of sounds like a silly thought to be issuing, but I've had throughout my life really bad hand injuries due to wrestling. I mean, this finger will uh, never touch. I've completely torn what's between there. I've had, I had back-to-back -back years of growth spurts where I grew uh, 18 inches over like three and a half years and just insane back pain due to that. And I'm very grateful I don't have that anymore. I'm very grateful not to be sick anymore. And just... A lot of the time, we forget to be grateful for these tiny things. Be well, not necessarily even tiny things. Just be grateful for being normal and not in a state of constant pain. Because there are people who exist in those states. There are people with chronic pain, chronic back injuries, chronic headaches, chronic insomnia. And for most of the people who would be watching this, you don't have that and be extremely grateful. I've talked to those people. I know some of those people. My brother used to have chronic insomnia.